today's video I'm just going to be going through my invertebrates and I'm just going to be basically showing you the updates of what I've got since I'll show you them now. I've got, you can't really see all of them at the moment, there's just a couple cages, but um, some of the different animals that I had from the last um, tour, so yeah. So, um, these are all the bugs, don't mind the hoover. <laughs> So these are all the bugs and all the eggs and everything here and obviously some of my other of my oh, I can't speak some of my other animals are in here my morning gecko more mancers this very soon is going to be another morning gecko cage okay? probably by next week buddy diego oh diego's out say hello that's calcium, by the way, not poo. <laughs> so, um, she has just been having her calcium. Um, she hasn't been having as much. I shouldn't be wandering around like this. This is a bad shot. Um, she has not been having nowhere near as much calcium as she should be. She, I've been trying my best, but she hasn't been taking it. So, as strange as it sounds, I put calcium in water, put it in a syringe, made her drink it and it works a lot she's still hobbling a little bit she's still walking a little funny but she's definitely fattened up and she looks a lot better um i knew it wasn't metabolic bone disease but okay you haven't eaten that wax when i put that in for you and you've pooed great um so yeah that's her she's getting a lot better um, in about a month's time, I think I'm going to be doing a, um, what's it, what should I call it, <laughs> a, um, update on her just to talk you through her. So, you need to be able to see me for this. First of all, um, I'm going to be going through my eggs. I'm just going to quickly show you what I have at the moment, which is only three species, but it's still a lot of eggs and a lot of commitment really um so in here i have i'd say around 50 mcclay spectre eggs or australian i can't i can't remember what to call it i'm just going to call it a mcclay stick and set i know it's that can't pronounce a scientific name that's absolutely rubbish um so yeah um so i don't know if you can see but there's around 50 in there um, and they were laid, I think the first one was laid on the 24th of December, so Christmas Eve. Um, and then the last were laid around the 20th of January, um, which was five days ago, because um, the 23rd she died. So that was two days ago. Um, and in here are some Indian stick and set eggs that I did not have the stick and set to lay these, excuse me. Um, I got given these. So there's I think 25 in here. Very, very small. I'm not going to tip it up because they're delicate. Um, and in here, the most, well, I think the ones that I'm most excited about um, are my Sungaya stick and set eggs. Or most people call them sunny stick and set eggs. If I can find them, they've gone underneath the tissue. I need to get them. I can't. Why would say them? I need to get them one of these. Um, because they're in a cricket tub at the moment. This is only temporary. Um, so yeah, I have two at the moment. Um, they're so cool because they're like sleek black. Um, yeah, I've had two think from the same female as you can see I'm not putting any pressure on it just to tell you um, so yeah they are my two eggs I have now um, I'm hoping being as I've got two females hoping in the next two three months I'll probably get another 40 to 50 and they are in here yes the females are in here but they don't live in here, just to tell you. They do live in a um, 
nano tall um exo terror um can't remember exact measurements and rubbish and stuff like that i'm not oh yeah that's exactly why not going to take them out for long because obviously they are gravid as you can tell um yeah they've been living with two males there's two females in here um so yeah they live in a very big cage bear in mind i only have four now um is that an egg no that's not an egg okay so moving on what should i move on to i'm gonna move on to my hatchlings or nymphs of my previous um well litter i guess you could call it of my clay stick and set eggs um so I th this one is doing a lot better than the other one as you can see that i need more bramble <laughs> so yeah that's the first one so these guys set up just to tell you is just a little deli cup like this with some fabric on the top and an elastic band it is that simple it does hold the moisture good but not as good as i'd say something like this which actually i'm going to tell you a little secret with this this is not a reptile container this um was a container that carried something from ikea and it is meant to be like the lid has air holes in it it's amazing it's just perfect and i have an orchid mantis in there it's about that big um so yeah um and then the other one is there not doing as well it is eating but i'd like it to be a little bit um more bulk um so that is it for the stick insects and everything um now i'm gonna move on to this mantis that you've seen before this is zoe my peacock mantis um just after the video that i made she did start to get he did start to getting um better at eating but gone downhill again so what i normally do is i just put them in a cricket tub like this for around 24 hours sometimes two days they can survive but you just need to make sure that they're not close to shelling because obviously there's nowhere near enough room in here um so yeah and then they do normally eat eventually so yeah she will eat i'm not worried but it's a bit annoying this is her cage it did have a dead leaf mantis and i cannot get that off um and it also had a malaysian flower mantis in it it's had a lot um so yeah that's her cage Haynes. i'm not doing good at the moment <laughs> so um moving on in here is a malaysian flower mantis not malaysian flower um, i am lost the plot today a malaysian blue mantis should i say um gorgeous species one of my favorites not very big at the moment about an inch can get i'd say at the most four inches and then i have this one slightly smaller but they're both pretty cool i love these guys especially their gorgeous teal wings turquoise wings some of them aren't like don't have the slightest tint of blue surprisingly but you know and in here i don't actually know what's in here this is a, oh, a shield mantis this is george my gorgeous shield mantis as you can see there pretty sure it's a female named it after george michael obviously um and yeah it's had a pretty large meal around two days ago so it's pretty full um looks like it's gonna shed soon so give it one last spray and i'm gonna leave it in peace because um gorgeous and it's had two sheds with me it's about that big when i got it it's had two sheds with me and it's done amazing um probably the best one done so in here the one that you saw earlier if i can get it this one shed about five days ago so i don't have to worry that it's going to go into shed this is my orchid mantis not very big at the moment these aren't the biggest of species not sure if it's male or female yet but yeah 
That one is my orchid mantis called Ninja because it likes to jump. Um, not why it didn't jump then. Um, moving on again, another Malaysian flower. Not another. I don't, this is the first one I showed you. <laughs> so in a very very rubbish container, I paid eight pounds for this off Amazon. Um, thinking it was like this big. But no, it was this big, and it's the flimsiest plastic I've ever seen. Yeah, it does its job, but it is shocking. Like, that could fall off. Look at it. <laughs> and then you press it down, and then that moves, that moves, like, a lot, compared to, like, the ones that the rest of them are housed in. And these... I paid three pounds each for on this eight pounds nut. So this one is a sub adult. Looks like it's going to shed soon. The wings are definitely coming through. Um, yeah, it's hard to shut this up. So I'm going to leave that on in peace. It hasn't moved for a while. I shouldn't really be disturb be disturbing them to be honest. But you know. And in here, another Malaysian flower. On the little cork bark there, slightly smaller one. Um, I'd say that one's got around two more malts, maybe three if I'm lucky. Ooh. <laughs> and we are I'm getting there. Spiny flowers, um, one of my favourite species, definitely. I think my favourite species is either the shield mantis. Or the giant Asian. I'd, we had giant Africans. Had a whole clutch of them. Um, yeah. This is Willardine. Just today. I can't, I can't speak today. What's just today? I'm rubbish. I tell you. And another one. Another spiny flower. Um, just to tell you. These will be getting these containers. Um, at their next malt, they're more than capable of living in this, more than three times their length and width. This one has had a big meal, it probably won't be fed for about five days to a week. <laughs> so, yeah, and I'm not going to tell you where I got all these mantises just because of the video's sake, but they were less than £10 each. Even the Orchid Mantis, and that's a great deal, I tell you now. And all of them are doing so well, they're so healthy, there's nothing wrong with them. And that's surprising, when I've seen Orchid Mantis in the mid-twenties. Now, this is a gorgeous Mantis, I tell you. So this is an adult, I think male, um, Malaysian Flower Mantis. Um, can't really do a drum roll. <laughs> That you've already seen it. Ta -da! So gorgeous one, not very big, but had a little bit of wing trouble shedding. But again, it's a gorgeous mantis. Still trying to get it to eat something. It will. I'm not too worried because it did shed around three days ago. Um, but not too worried, like I say. Um, this is Matilda. Matilda's doing well. So, yeah. Um, I have one more mantis to show you, I believe. I do have two male Sungaya stick insects, but I can't be bothered to get them down. I really can't. I'm sorry. That'll be in another video. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Achoo! Achoo! That's the weirdest sneeze I've ever heard. I must be allergic to animals, you know? So, my other one, oh, don't jump. That's the camera, that's the, ca get off the camera. So, here. This is my other shield mantis. Okay, this is the worst video whatsoever. What, where's that light coming from? Why is it all pink? Stop jumping. Not named this one yet because I'm not sure if I'm keeping it. Um, okay, it keeps on going pink, it's from the containers. Um, but yeah, so this one looks like it's going to shed in the next couple of weeks. 
Hopefully, fingers crossed it will because I love them when they get bigger. They look so cool. And especially species like this look amazing with wings. So yeah, um, once I get my morning geckos next week, I'm probably gonna get two. Might get just one though, because obviously they do lay eggs and they do, um, yeah, they do lay a lot of eggs. Around two eggs each normally. One egg isn't uncommon, but I have one at the moment. If you didn't know the story, I did have two, but the other one, no matter how much I secured the key, tiniest gaps, it escaped, and we found it dead in the fridge. Like, why, out of all places, a cold fridge, we found a reptile. That's... I don't know, if I was a reptile, I wouldn't do that. Um, but, yeah. Um... I will be doing a tour of all my other cages, my lizard cages, um, snakes, and all stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. No idea what it's going to be. Please like, subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, and you'll get every single video upload. Comment down below what video you want me to do next, because I'm bound to do that, um, because I don't get a lot of comments. Um, I'm going to say that in every video. I don't get a lot of comments, but I'd love... I'd love to grow this channel so I can give more information out and I can just make people more prepared because I know there's people out there and I know there's companies out there that will let people buy the animals without any verifications, without verifying them that they've got the right setup and everything. That's what these videos are for, to get your information. You don't have to pay for it, you don't have to go crazy looking at website, reading three page articles. You can just watch my videos and I'm bound to know the information because I've kept loads of species um, and so have some of my family. So yeah, comment down below what you want to know and I'm bound to make a video. So stay tuned, subscribe, tell your friends and then I'll see you in the next video. I've talked a lot. Bye.